Hi, um, I'm preparing this video to just um, touch base with some of the basic uh, skills and numbers, um, especially when it comes to managing money. So what I want you to do is to go through this first and then only you start your task, okay? Okay, so um, let's start with question 1A. Um, Lucy works in a clothes shop. In one week, she earned blah, blah, blah. She spent one over eight. Okay, how much she spent on food? So the most straightforward steps of working for this is you take 277.20 divided by eight. And then this will give you 34.65 and please remember because your answer is in money you are expected to give your answer correct to two decimal places okay question one done question two she paid 15 percent of the um, 277.20 in taxes calculate how much she paid in taxes okay so we learned this in year eight even when it comes to finding percentages, you must first change it to the multiplier. So 15% can also be written as 0 0.15. And because they want to know how much she paid in taxes, so the only working for this is 0 0.15 multiplied by 277.20. Oh, my handwriting. Okay, so the answer for this is 41.58. Done. Next one. The 277.20 was 5% more than Lucy earned in the previous week. So calculate how much she earned before. Okay, so for this one, just to give you a bit of a perspective, basically you have two situations here, okay? You have now versus last week okay so now they said now <clears throat> is five percent more and whatever we are basing our situations from we always take that the before as hundred percent this is before and now she has five percent more that means now she has one oh five percent because from whatever she gained, whatever she had, and now she gained 5%. So in your mind, you must be able to have this idea first. So now, calculate how much she earned in the previous week. Okay, so the multiplier for this is 1.05. And then once we know this, the steps of working you have to take is... We need to now find what is 1% and then times it back by 100%. But the shortcut method for this, oh, my arrow is pretty, is 277.20. You divide it straight away with the multiplier. 5. Okay. And this will give you <coughs> 2, 6, Four. Done. Three marks. Yay. Happy, happy. Okay. Move on. Question B, I. Um, the shop sells clothes for men, women and children. In one day, she sold with a total value of 2,200. Um, the ratio is given. Calculate the value of the women's... Oh, okay. Now, it's as simple as this. You are comparing total with total. Okay. There are two different totals here. First... You have pen pen pen. Okay. First you have the ratio versus the actual amount. You must be able to situate this very nicely so it goes hand in hand. So in terms of ratio, there are eleven parts in total. And then the actual um money that you know, represents these 11 parts is 2,200. So, the whole idea is if you can find one part, that means you just have to multiply it with the ratio for the women, right? So, one part is basically 11 divided by 11 
and reciprocally you do the same thing on the other side and this will give you 200 so now if you look at the ratio specifically for women it's five parts so one times five and 200 times 5 too and this will give you 1000 okay this is just one method um, let's we, let's call this as comparison method some people are more comfortable working on it using fraction so you can also do that so if you want to do the fraction method I'm just offering you two so whichever you're comfortable with you can just choose it from if you want if you want to do the fraction method so it will be 5 over 11 times 2200 and you will still get the same answer Ta -ta -ta. 1000 so whichever you find comfortable and confident with you can use any method for this okay okay next one the 2200 was 44 over 73 of the total value of the clothes. Oh, okay. So, if you were to compare this fraction by fraction, right? It would be something like this. 44 over the total equals to 2200 over the total that you need to find. Remember, this is the parts from the ratio or the fraction, you can say. And these are from the actual thing that we are talking about. <clears throat> so, basically, it's the same thing, you know. You need to find the total part. So, um, I prefer the ratio versus actual method. So, I'm just going to do just that. This is actual. So, 44 parts equals to 2,200. That means one part. You divide by 44. You divide this by 44 as well. So, it gives you 50. And because now you're looking for 73 parts, so you have to times 1 by 73, you times 50 by 73 as well. So this will give you 3650. Done. Okay, moving on. Question number 2. Okay, Ali and Ben receive a sum of money. They share it in the ratio 5 to 1. Ali receive 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, calculate the total amount. Mm. Okay, so for this one, we can make it very straight away, like this. Ali and Ben, 5 to 1, and then in the actual, he receives 2, 3, 4, 5, and this one is question mark. So now, that means you need to first figure out in 5 parts, Ali receives this much so one part equals to two three four five divided by five and this will give us four six nine because they want the total amount duh, 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 duh. total means you have to first total the parts from the ratio so that means there are six parts in total that means 6 times 4, 6, 9. And this will give you 2, 8, 1, 4. Done. Next one. Ali uses 11% to buy a television. Calculate the cost of the television. Okay. Let's stick with the multiplier. 11% is 0 0.11. And you multiply this straight away with 2, 3, 4, 5. Damn, you get the answer. The answer is 257.95. Hehe. <laughs> okay. Next one. A different TV. What TV costs so cheap? Well, anyway. So, a different TV costs 300 
and thirty dollars. Ben buys one in a sale when this cost is reduced by fifteen percent. Okay, multiplier, multiplier. So you start with hundred percent, reduced by fifteen. That means he bought the TV with eighty five percent of the entire value. So how much does he pay? Oh, okay. So zero point eight five. You times this by 330 and this one it'll give you 280.50 then 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 next one okay $330 is 12% less than the cost last year calculate the cost last year okay it's the same comparison we are comparing now versus last year and like I said when you have something that you compare to before, the before is always 100%. And the now, according to the question, is 12% less. That means the now is only 88%. So the multiplier for 88% is 0 0.88. And you can times this straight away with 330. Oh, sorry. You want to find the cost last year. So the cost last year would be 0 0.88. Okay, that's the multiplier. And then the working for it is you take the value and you divide it by the multiplier. So this will give you 375. Okay, a few more questions and then you can start working on your own. Just bear with me. Okay, question D. Oh, compound interest. Interesting. Haha, <laughs> you see what I did there? Okay, so first of all, um, the moment you spotted this, um, please start taking out the formula for compound interest first. So the formula for compound interest is principal multiplied by 1 plus r over 100 to the power of n. So principal is the amount of money, okay? And then this is the rate and this is the time. Okay, so now, um, and then the question is calculate the total amount. Another thing that I want you to take note of is when you find compound interest, your final answer will be the principal plus the interest in this situation okay it could be minus as well so now because they want the total amount that means directly applying the formula will just give you the entire um, value okay so what we do now is we substitute the value so compound interest equals to 1500 open bracket 1 plus 2.3 over 100 close bracket and then to the power of 3 use your calculator and straight away you'll get 1605.90 now please do bear in mind we are talking about money it always have to be two decimal places okay done last one yes okay Ali also buys a computer. I don't know what year is this. Why computer is like so cheap? Even phones are expensive these days. But okay. Um, oh, I get distracted. Okay, Ali also buys a computer for 3 to 5. He later sells this for 250. Who bought it for 250? Okay, calculate Ali's percentage loss. Okay, so it is always good for you to extract the information out for you to see because, you know, you need to have like a, some sort of like a visual justification before you do anything right so this is the situation he buys it for he bought it for two three five five he sold it hey, the selling price he sold it for 250 now before we talk about loss profit gain whatsoever let's first find the difference in this case loss that means three to five minus two fifty you'll get seventy five. Okay. 
one thing you should know is when it comes to percentage loss, profit, percentage increase, or decrease, there is one unified formula for it. So I want you to remember this. So the formula, it's always change, change over original times 100%. This formula is applicable to any of this situation. Okay? So now, let's work things out. So, the change is 75 over original. What value we started with? This one. So, 3 to 5, and you times it by 100. And this will give you... Dun, 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 dun. 23.1%. So, we just put it here. 23.1. Okay. Pretty much that's it. So I hope by now you can start working on the questions. And if you have any problem, just Google Hangout me and I'll help you, okay?